America a nation divided. My body, my New protests over the Supreme Court decision overturning Roe v. Wade. Women are going to die. Former President Trump celebrating the moment. This breakthrough is the answer to the prayers of millions and millions of people. Some protests turning violent. An off-duty police officer running for office accused of hitting his political opponent. Next steps, President Biden urged in a letter by Senate Democrats to take bold action on abortion rights. A look at the options, plus could access to abortion pills be the next big fight? Breaking overnight, Kyiv missile strikes, apartment buildings demolished in Ukraine's capital, rescue missions underway as G7 leaders take new action aimed at the Russian economy. Living with loss, parents of a child killed in the Texas school massacre opening up about their pain. Just kills me. Their lingering questions about the police response. Summer travel taking off. Huge crowds hitting the airports and a record number hitting the roads. The advice to make it all smooth sailing. Umbrella recall. Costco recalling some solar-powered patio umbrellas over fire concerns. The warning to immediately stop using them. Saving Stonewall, the owners of New York City's historic spot that sparked the modern LGBTQ plus movement, describe their mission to pass its history onto the next generation. And soaring at the box office. Top Gun Maverick, the highest grossing film of Tom Cruise's 40 year long career, ready to reach new heights. Live from ABC News in New York, this is Good Morning America. Good morning, America. So great to have you with us. We have a lot to cover as we start this Sunday morning, including some breaking news out of Ukraine. Missile strikes hitting Kyiv. Smoke and flames rising from badly damaged residential buildings. Rescue teams pulling a young girl from the rubble. The strikes happening as President Biden joins other G7 leaders in Germany. The group, in a show of unity, agreeing to ban imports on gold from Russia, further isolating the country. We will get to that in a moment, but we do start here at home with the new protest following the Supreme Court's overturning of Roe v. Wade. As of this morning, more than 31 million Americans are living in states where abortion bans are in effect. And those states are likely to be joined in the coming weeks by more than a dozen others in outlawing abortion. We start our coverage with ABC's Devin Dwyer at the Supreme Court. Devin, good morning to you. Good morning, Janae. Like your own personal lightsaber. Uh, the Price a big bag of Beskar or three thousand wow. dollars. Who's getting one? Who's getting one? Okay, see, I'm into Star Wars, but heavy breathing while I'm yeah. sleeping. You know, my room. Peter was not the good guy. I yeah. don't think that I want to put him in my home. That's yeah. right. Good point. Bad juju. Good point. <laughs> but good uh, Megan. Thank you. Megan, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Glad to inform everybody. I'm, so. I'm still calling him Puff Daddy, by the way. So it's like we're, we've we've moved on. We're now on to love. Okay. Thanks so much. News you can use, folks. Thanks so much for watching. Good morning, America. Of course. So as we celebrate Pride Month here at ABC News, ABC's audio podcast, Life Out Loud with LZ Granderson. You can get that wherever you get your podcasts. And of course, stay tuned for this week later on this morning. Have a great rest of your weekend. More Americans choose ABC News, America's number one news.